Hey, Power Mates, I'm Alex. I'm a Gaston. Welcome to Power Mates. This is a place to learn and share about fabric and power platform. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about something that every beginner Power BI users need to know. We are going to break down the three most common mistakes that Power BI starters make and how you can avoid them. Trust me, these tips are going to see you a ton of time and headaches. Let's jump right in. Yeah, of course, Alex. Uh, the first common mistake is what we call not cleaning your data. Okay, let's, let's be real here for a second. Power BI is an amazing tool, but it's not a magic wand. So that can fix messy data. One of the biggest mistakes for everyone and every beginner make uh, when you are diving into Power BI is work without first cleaning your data. So why is this problem? Well, if your data has errors, let's say duplicates, missing values, you're going to end up with inaccurate reports. And trust me, that is not looking good in front of your boss. So then Gaston, if you don't want to end up dealing with this mistake, what should I do? I got you, my friend. So here's some common things that you can do. Before you even touch Power BI, make sure your data is in a good shape. Use tools like, you know, Power Query to clean this up, remove those duplicates, fix your column names, make sure that everything is in the right format. This will give you a rock solid foundation to build your reports on. Okay, uh, I remember Gaston, keep telling me that all the time around the, the Azure analogy and, and how much time uh, you should take to work on your data model. Yeah, of course, Alex. That, that is kind of the very first advice from my end. Let's go over the mistake number two, mm -hmm. and that is overloading your reports with too much information. Here's a rookie mistake, overloading your dashboards with way too many charts, tables, KPIs. You want to show everything, right? The problem is when you try to show everything, you end up showing nothing. Less is more, no? So PowerMate, think about the story that you are trying to tell uh, with your report. Yeah, instead of stuffing your report with every piece of data that you can find, focus on the key metrics that really matters for you. Ask yourself, what are the top two or three insights that your audience needs? Use clean visuals and make sure there's plenty of white space. Trust me, your stakeholders will thank you. Uh, so instead of just presenting data, you know, let's go into... Uh, the mistake number three, not leveraging some of the Power BI interactive features. You know, Power BI has some serious, cool interactive features, but a lot of beginners either don't know about them or just forget to use them. Things like, you know, drill throughs, slicers, cross highlighting can turn a static report into an interactive powerhouse. So instead of just presenting data, you can give your audience the ability to slice and dice the transformation themselves. Want to see some sales by region, click this button or click this bookmark or drill down into a specific product category. So boom, use these kind of features that you will take your Power BI game to the next level, making your reports way more dynamic and user-friendly. So and that, that's the kind of the key element in terms of building or developing your reports. So there you have it, PowerMate. These are three common mistakes that starters usually make in Power BI and how you can avoid them like a pro. Avoiding these kind of pitfalls not only going to save you time, but will also make your reports stand out.
Yeah, for sure. So what do you think Power made? Let us know in the comment, uh, what was your biggest Power BI mistake uh, when you started? We'd love to hear your stories. And remember, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on this journey. Together, let's unlock the full potential on Power Platform and Microsoft Public. See ya. Yeah. Thank you.